Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matado and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install the KO Preco Heist mod inside your Grand Theft Auto B folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require enable all interiors and I will leave this inside my description below. Now this does require lemon UI and I will leave this inside my description below. Now remember make sure that you do download all the latest version. Make sure that you do download the latest kitogby.net nightly version 3.7.0 once you have completed that process then we can get started this video was requested by the viewers and this video is an updated version for 2025 so go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location once you are inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder, if you do not have a skits folder, then all you gotta do is right click, go to new, then go to folder, and rename that folder to scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct, and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your skits folder, and now let's begin. First, Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go inside your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Go inside this folder. Go inside your scripts and select all the files and folder except for your text file and drag all that inside your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder now lastly open up your KO Preco Heist extract folder go inside this folder go inside your scripts now really important select all the files and folders now this is optional, okay, but I always do this because I have already got iFruit add-on too. So this is optional, but remove that and remove that. Now this is optional too, you can remove this if you want to, it's totally up to you and even how to start, okay. But um, yeah, but that's what I always do, okay. Now I'll just go over here and now just drag all that and say okay and then now exit out of your extract folder okay and then now exit out of your game folder and that's all you got to do really simple really easy now right click refresh your desktop and I will see you in the game and now we're in the game with Franklin so once you're in the game okay you're pretty much nearly all set but all you got to do is go to your phone go to contacts then go right down the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors go to enable all interiors and then go to change interiors okay then now go right down the bottom to misc options and now enable your markers and enable your blips now that's all you got to do now make sure that this is ticked as well open close doors okay and go back to your main menu Go to refresh interiors now wait for a few seconds and now exit out of your menu and now you're pretty much already set now 
and you'll see this H over here okay. and now you'll see a marker over here somewhere right there now once you order a submarine you'll get a phone call okay so press E and now purchase the submarine and now you'll get a phone call and now you can do whatever you want with all these settings okay but I'm going to leave everything as default because I'm not bothered with this uh, upgrading stuff okay so once you have done that then now you can exit exit and now you can wait for Franklin to finish his phone call but while you're waiting we will need to travel over there so I always travel using the drone press F9 that's only if you're using menu grab Franklin then I'll go all the way to the submarine okay and then press F9 again and now you can go over here and now quickly press E right now and then now there you go wait for a few seconds and now you'll jump into a cutscene, which I'm just going to uh, skip this part. There you go. Now, um, yeah, so as you guys can see, it is working. Uh, but I'm not going to play the mod, okay, because, uh, yeah, because it's going to make the video too long, okay. And now we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy using that mod. Now, unfortunately, I do not want to play the game. The only reason why, because it will make the video long. So I'm very sorry guys, but the mod does work 100% because I have tested the mod two times so far. So it does work 100%. So like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. I am more active inside my Discord server. So join my Discord server, I'll leave my Discord server link inside my description below so you guys can join my support server for more and help uh, for your mods okay so with that all said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i will see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out